We're back. The 42nd Administrative Council session of the Africa Regional Intellectual Property Organization, Aripo, started in Vintuk earlier this week. The five-day conference is deliberating on ways on how African knowledge can be used to develop the economies of the region. With an update on how the session has been going so far, we are now joined by Mr. Emmanuel Saki, the Intellectual Property Development Executive of Aripo. Good morning, sir, and welcome to Good Morning Namibia. Good morning and uh, welcome uh, and, and good morning to your viewers. Very well. What do you make of the deliberations on intellectual property so far this week? Well, uh, the deliberations on intellectual property so far this week has been very engaging. Mm. Uh, as you know, intellectual property relates to the creations of the mind and all over the world. People mm. are using this uh, creativity to leverage on the uh, economic development. So that is what we have engaged ourselves this week to address different components and issues that Africa is currently facing to enable us to chart the way forward mm. and also to address the challenges that we are facing on the continent. And it's actually a resource that's underutilized on our continent. Is that right, sir? Yes, it is a resource that is underutilized on our continent. Yeah. If you, if you look at the global uh, uh, statistics, mm. it shows that Africa is contributing uh, around 0.6% to the global applications in patents, for example. Mm. If you look at... That's the, not significant. That's not significant mm. at all. Mm. And I think we have to do something about it. And that is why uh, continuously we are engaging our member states mm. to uh, think through the best means by which we can address the challenges that we are facing. Very well. Speaking of such developments, uh, since the formation of a repo, how has intellectual property been enhanced and grown and developed um, in Africa? Yes, uh, intellectual property, uh, is, uh, as I mentioned, is a very useful tool uh, for economic development. And, and I, I believe the framers of the organization uh, had a, a vision Mm. And so as far back as 1976, they created this organization to be able to address uh, the legal issues, the technical issues, and also promote intellectual property awareness on the continent of Africa. Mm. So we have done this for 42 years. Mm. And as we look at the landscape on Africa, we are beginning to see some level of um, awareness mm. uh, from the policy makers to the uh, universities and research and development institutions that are the generators of intellectual property and then the public at large. So basically uh, we are beginning to see some growth uh, uh, coming through uh, on the continent of Africa. Beyond that we are, have also <coughs> created um, academic programs mm. which uh, currently, we have been able to train over 296 graduates, mm. and I believe other universities have also taken on intellectual property, recognizing its important role Very in well. our economies. Yes. Very well, sir. Why has it taken so long? Why has it taken about 42 years for us to start seeing that awareness pertaining to intellectual property on the African continent? Well, um, the intellectual property system itself was uh, alien to Africa, and, and not only Africa, many parts of the world. Mm. It is the developed countries that had the first um, you know, approach towards that, as far back as the 18th century. So they have a lot of uh, history of intellectual property. But I think, uh, as you may be aware, we are currently in the era of knowledge-based economies mm. and that is what has shifted intellectual property to the global stage because in the knowledge-based economies it is not the resources you have that matters it is the knowledge that you use to harness the resources very well that very matters well. and that yeah. is why probably we are beginning to appreciate this very uh, well on the continent of africa so a number of topics have been discussed so far this week and one of them was the structure of the international union for the protection of new varieties of plants please talk to us about that well, I, I, we, we believe that one sector that uh, African countries can leverage on is the agricultural sector. Uh, we have been informed that um, Africa is sitting on about 50% of the world's arable lands. Mm. So if you look at this uh, potential, then it stands to reason that we have to 
uh, leverage on this uh, sector. And, it is, and for us to be able to do this, we, we recognize the challenges that uh, we are facing globally, mm. one of which is the climate change, which has imposed a lot of uh, uh, challenges on our, our, our agricultural sector. Mm. The other one is the population growth. We are told that Africa's population will be about 2 billion by 2050. Mm. So we have to find mechanisms by which we can feed ourselves. And one important uh, means by which we can, uh, tool that we can use to feed, uh, to improve agricultural productivity is this plant variety protection, which is the result of breeding that our research and uh, uh, um, researchers are doing to ensure that they create adaptive varieties to the environment, create uh, varieties that are high yielding mm. and then also pest resistance because we are also dealing with pests Pest. yeah. across uh, you know, the, 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 the environment. So if we're able to do this, then as we um, uh, take advantage of these new varieties, then we'll be able to increase production uh, to feed our people. And it is very critical for Africa given that we, uh, we need uh, mechanisms by which we can include the youth who constitute about 60% of our population mm. to engage them uh, to, uh, in gave gainful employment. And Thank agriculture you, is one sector for, Thank for that. Thank you, sir. I'm still a bit worried that intellectual property remains far removed from our people. If I'm a viewer watching us this morning and I may have found or developed or created a recipe for a traditional cake, how do I connect the dots? How do I bring that closer to home to optimize the value and to leverage the potential of the resources as you put it? Yes, I think this is a challenge that we are all facing. Uh, it's always very difficult to uh, make intellectual property uh, be um, understood by the ordinary person. Mm. But what we're telling them is that we have traditional means of, um, for example, cooking. And the question is, should we continue to do it that way? Or should we try to improve it? Mm. And the notion of improving it is what we are calling uh, the, the application of our minds to that. Mm. And so if we build this as a culture, then obviously our, our population, regardless of where you come from, mm. whether from the rural area or from the city, you have this culture of always trying to add value mm. to what you are doing. And that is the kind of concept that we're trying to push around, mm. to say, don't just do what you have found to be uh, the status quo. Mm. Just try and improve on what you have found. So if it's a cake, then obviously at one stage, you may wish to add some ingredients which was non, were not known before. Innovation through improvement and value addition. Yeah, exactly, innovation yeah. through improvement. So today is, is day four of, of the session, um, and it's concluding tomorrow. What do you make of the feedback thus far, and what can we expect over the next two days? Well, thank you very much. The, 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 we normally have annual sessions uh, of the Council, mm. of uh, Administrative Council of our repo. And the purpose of the council is just to meet to ensure that uh, the secretariat, that, uh, that is where I come from, we implementing the decisions that they make mm. for the development of intellectual property. Mm. So this is more like um, a, a, a stock taking. And then it also looks at some new uh, areas that we need to address to enhance the intellectual property system. So I think it has gone fairly well. Mm. We've been able to uh, uh, tackle all the various technical issues that have been put to the council, and then uh, financial and all administrative issues. And then along the lines, we have also addressed some topical issues, such as plant variety protection, mm. and then also uh, innovation and branding of African products. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And best of luck with the deliberations for the next two days. Yes. Yeah. There you have it, Mr. Emmanuel Saki, the Intellectual Property Development Executive at Aripa, talking to us about the conference that's currently taking stock of where we are as a continent pertaining to intellectual property. We're back after the brief break. Please stay tuned. <laughs>